Hi guys, it's Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every single day. Uh, anyway, today's topic of matter is Android 7.0 Nougat. Nougat. Uh, you can see I've got running Android 7.0. Now, a lot of you should receive uh, OTA over the air, but I'm going to show you how to update it manually. Um, just in case you guys are still not getting the updates. First off, you should have SMG 935F or FD. All right, and make sure you back up everything uh, because we may end up erasing everything sometimes. If you're coming from stock, you should be okay. But make a backup whenever we do these uh, updates, installing stock firmware, things can go wrong and you may have to do a factory reset. All right, do a volume down center home and power. Once it's powered off and once you see the warning screen hit the volume up and then connect it to your computer all right via micro usb cable now make sure you're not using a usb hub uh, also try avoid using usb 3.0 um just connect it directly in to your computer if you can and then let's go to our computer all right next you'll need to download the appropriate uh, firmware now find one for your country um, or you can also use any version. I've downloaded a generic UK version, NZNBT. I'll have the links to this. Um, you can actually use any country version. Uh, it shouldn't matter too much. Grab the uh, U UK version if you can't find the one for your country. Go ahead and double click it and extract all files, all right? And you get a folder with all these files, all right? So basically, we're not going to flash CSC or home, which will erase everything and also change your CSC. So long as you install APBL and CP parts, um, you should be good to go and it shouldn't erase uh, anything on your phone and it won't change CSC. So it should be safe uh, with your EFS. All right. Once you have that, also grab Odin 3 V 3.12.3. All right, make sure you grab this version, all right? Um, don't use previous versions because you'll hang. And um, go ahead and unzip this also. And obviously you'll need a Windows computer here. Um, go to Odin 3 and go ahead and execute the Odin 3. And it should look like this. And you should see a blue highlighted sign. Um, if you don't see this, that means you don't have the drivers installed. Um, go ahead and install the drivers. I'll have a link to it. Install it. Unplug and plug your USB back in. All right. Um, for choosing the files, go to BL and then go to your downloads folder and then go to the folder where you uh, unzip the firmware. And you're going to go ahead and choose BL, the file beginning in BL. All right. Once that's done, we're going to do the same thing with AP. Choose the file starting AP. All right, BL is basically your bootloader. This will change your bootloader to uh, Nougat, Android 7.0 Nougat. Now, if you ever want to go back, uh, what you can do is flash uh, the Marshmallow bootloader, and then you'll be able to also install uh, Marshmallow ROMs. I haven't tried it, but uh, Marshmallow ROMs may work with a Nougat bootloader. All right, also it does come with the latest modem. And AP may take a while because it's a bigger file. And once this is done, we'll choose CP and simply hit start. All right, AP is done. Go ahead and go to CP, choose CP. All right, and don't mess with CSC because I've lost my IMEI. Basically makes your phone completely useless. All right, hit start. And, you know, this will update anybody who has a SMG 35F. Uh, it should work, also work on FD to the latest uh, Android Nougat and upgrade you. If you're coming from stock, this should upgrade you without losing anything. But like I said, you may still have to do a factory reset. Um, so do make a backup of everything. Just know that you may lose everything. So at least, at the least, uh, make a copy of the contents of your phone onto the hard disk. Uh, anything on the micro SD card, it won't get affected. So I'll be back when this is done and it should reboot by itself. All right guys, I see pass. And once you see pass, you should be good to go. Now it may boot you back into the stock recovery. Now, if you have trouble, 
you may have to come back here and do a wipe data factory reset, all right? But we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna simply reboot system now because I already had stock uh, on there. And if you had stock and you're just upgrading to Nougat, uh, it should just boot and you should be good to go. There we go, booted up just fine. And now you should be upgraded to the latest Android 7.1, sorry, 7.0 Nougat. Now, if you end up in a boot loop or something, what you can do is power off and go back into the stock recovery and do a factory reset. All right, um, so volume up, center home, power. All right, and let go of the power button when you see the logo here. Keep holding down volume up and the center home. All right, and you will come to the stock recovery. By the way, I'm using a VRS uh, case. This is the crystal bumper. I really love it. Um, it's sort of getting a little bit tiny bit yellowish, but I've had it for a very long time. All right, once you get no command, try uh, volume, up, volume up, volume down, and power. There we go. So volume up, volume down, and power. And this will get you back into that stock recovery menu. All right, what you're gonna do is go into wipe data factory resets if your phone hangs. Now this will erase everything on your phone. All right, uh, another way if you don't wanna lose everything, uh, uh, alternative to using a stock recovery is you can go ahead and install twerp recovery over it using Odin, just like how you root it. Uh, and then you can do a factory reset there, which won't touch the contents of your internal storage. You'll just lose settings and apps. I'm just telling you, all right? So do a wipe data factory reset if you hang and reboot, that's it. Uh, but for most of you upgrading from stock, you shouldn't have to. You should be on the latest Android 7.0 Nougat, uh, which has been running really well on my S7 Edge. Highly recommend it. Anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Uh, have a great day. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.